in the shadow of the Capitol building and President Bush's White House. It's a huge business. Last year, just the drugs that were seized by the police had a street value of $18 million. Well, none of that is very encouraging in terms of um, what might be happening in the United Kingdom in a, a while to come. Today, Mr. Douglas Hogg, Home Office Minister, saw Washington's crack neighborhoods through the curtained windows of an unmarked police van. He drove past crack houses and saw groups of sellers waiting for business. It seemed quiet, but police told him, just come back after dark. Then parts of Washington resemble a war zone where murders this year have topped 170, mostly drug-related. Last year alone, 7,000 people were arrested for crack possession in this city of just 700,000 people. And it would be a tragedy for us if it happened to us. I also have a very real sense of anxiety because of the, the, the high risk, I think, of something like this developing and the recognition of how destructive it would be. A detective summed it up for Mr. Hogg in a sentence. Crack was unknown here in 1986. Now it's tearing this city apart. Ken Reese, News at 10, Washington.